Now let's look at basic technique points. Dribble with spread finger pads on the ball. Do not slap the ball with the palm of the hand. Knees are slightly bent and the player should push the ball towards the ground, extending the arm fully while flicking the wrist. Allow the ball to return to hip height before dribbling again. The player's head should remain high while dribbling in order to see players ahead and the basket. This is called peripheral vision. Note, players can only dribble the ball with one hand at any time. Teachers should encourage players to always practice dribbling with the left and the right hand. Dribble with spread finger pads on the ball. Do not slap the ball with the palm of the hand. Knees are slightly bent and the player should push the ball towards the ground, extending the arm fully while flicking the wrist. Allow the ball to return to hip height. The player's head should remain high while dribbling in order to see players ahead and the basket. Beginner dribbling activities. We are now going to show you dribbling activities based on one group. However, in a class or session, there will be multiple groups. One ball per player. Players dribble freely in a specified space using peripheral vision. The teacher repeats key technique points. Players then divide into pairs and perform for one another, offering positive suggestions. The players then return to dribbling and dribble again freely. Dribble relay. Players line up one behind the other and at a signal, the first player dribbles the ball to a specified point. This can be a cone or a chair. The player goes around the point and then returns. All the time, the player should be dribbling, then come to a stop and gently hands the ball to the next player in line. The rest of the players continue until all have had a number of attempts. The zigzag relay. This is the same as the dribble relay. However, cones or chairs can be placed at any point within the relay zone and the players change hands at these points. Shuttle relay. Players line up in two lines about five meters apart. The first player in line one dribbles to line two, comes to a jump stop, gently hands the ball to the first player in line two and goes to the end of the line. The relay then continues. Cones and chairs can be placed between the lines. Shuttle relay leads to more movement but can break down if lines get too close to one another. A fun relay competition can be used but not at the expense of skill learning. Fun relays create great excitement and should be left to the end of the lesson or session phase. Sea crabs. Divide the class into two groups sea crabs and dribblers. The sea crabs stand in one half of the court but cannot move their bodies, only their hands. The dribblers have to dribble around the half court protecting the ball from the sea crabs. This game is played for 30 seconds with dribblers keeping the ball, then roles are swapped. Truck and trailer. There are two players and one ball. The first player dribbles with the right hand from the baseline to the free throw line then jump stops and pivots. This player then hands the ball off to his partner, who has followed him. This player then continues dribbling with the left hand to the halfway line. The movement is repeated and the activity continues. The clock. Five players line up in a circle and another five line up near the circle. Players in the circle pass the ball diagonally to each other. During this time, each of the players in the line takes it in turn to dribble around the circle. The number of passes should be counted when all the dribblers have gone round the circle. The players then change roles. Obstacle speed dribble. Players set open lines beside the basket on both ends of the court. The number of lines depends on the number of players. An obstacle course is laid out on the court where cones, chairs and other obstacles are placed along a number of lines on the court. Players dribble between obstacles using the crossover dribble, protecting the ball and keeping their eyes up until they reach the end of the obstacles. Players then speed dribble to the basket for a layup or jump stop and set shot. <laughs>